Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today's video is me showing you my video game systems and how I hook them up to the TV. Of course, I'm not going to hook them up to the TV, I'm just going to show you how they can get hooked up. Now, right here is my Super Nintendo. And, and another Super Nintendo is a little hookup thing that goes into it. That, that hooks that got two colors. I think it's yellow and white. So this gets hooked up easy to the TV. I don't want this. I don't want the system before. And so with the Nintendo system. The Nintendo system, see, it got red and yellow. And I can hook it up the old fashioned way too. With with the cord that goes straight into the TV. But the color is easier for me because I don't have to disconnect my VCR player to hook up my Nintendo system. And the Atari 2600, uh, no, the, the, the Sega Genesis got the same thing as the Super Nintendo. It comes with, it comes with three colors, red, white, and yellow. And to the only to the Sega the Sega Master System, I had to hook it up like I have to hook it to my VCR player because I don't come with colors. It comes with let's see something like this. This is how the this is how the right now this is hooked to the this is how the Atari get hooked up in the Sega Master System, and the Nintendo system get hooked up like this too if I want to. The PlayStation, the PlayStation 2, get hooked up by color, the red, white, and yellow, or by the, or by the straight into the TV hooked up. And you might see me play some of the PlayStation 2. I got a lot of fighting games on it. And this is a 2600. Now this comes with the core because the core don't come out. This is how it was made, I'm thinking, back in the days. So the cord never can come out of it. And I, when I was playing my two Atari games, I wasn't using this because I didn't want to disconnect my VCR player to play my two games. But when I did the Nintendo video, I was using the real Nintendo system. And most anything I play, I probably using the real systems. Except for, this, except for the Sega Master System. In the Atari 2600. And all these systems. I kind of had when I was a kid. In a sense. Because the only thing I could, this, this is the one I got for Christmas. Back in 2003. Is my Playstation 2. The Nintendo I had since the 80's. And the Atari I had since the, since the 80's. Now to play other things. Is this little gadget. The Game Box Hero. Now the Game Box Hero has all the Super Nintendo games in it, all the Nintendo games, all the Sega Genesis, all the Sega Master Systems, all the Atari 2600, all the Game Boys, Game Gear, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Color, uh, PlayStation 1, all the games for that. All the computer games that used to be on computers only. And almost all the arcade games. And I think they got Atari 7800 also on this thing. So this thing got over 50,000 games or more. And I use this only when I have to play the Atari, the Sega Master System, and some other games that had to be hooked to the TV straight. And you might see me play some arcade games on here too. So when I was playing the, my Atari game, I was using the Game Mask, the Game Box Hero. But when I was doing Super Mario Bros. the first time, I was using this system. But the jump, but the mobile control didn't work that good. So the second video you saw me do, I used my real Nintendo system. And I did a lot better. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of you always ask, how do I play my video game systems? And how many do I got? So I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I got six systems. And they all work. 
And one of these days, I'll show you all the all the video games I got for these systems also. So this is just a short video, kind of. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.